and number two surround yourself with the right people because with the right people you will get the right mindset and you will go so much further <laughs> What's going on guys, sun is finally out in the Netherlands again, so I thought, you know what, uh, do a little morning walk again, I haven't done one in ages to be honest, uh, just get a little bit fresh air, take the video outside, and I only uploaded once last week, so my apologies for that, and that is actually also the reason why I'm filming today, is just talk to you guys about like hard work versus smart work, and how to like restructure your day to get more done in less time and focus on like the important things instead of just doing tasks that feel productive or feel like you're doing a lot of work but you're actually not getting a lot of stuff done oh that's better there was so much sun there before couldn't even see but anyway uh, when i started like my I, it was when i started like jd fitness i really focused on like the small little things like the little details like getting the thumbnails properly and like doing all kinds of, like courses on how to start like a youtube channel and all stuff like that like like stuff that didn't really like produce any results but I felt like I was being productive, you know, like it felt like I was doing a lot of work when, you know, it took a lot of time, but I didn't get a, a lot of results from it. Same goes for Brand Paneer. Like when I first started, I'd done like three courses on social media marketing. I'd done, uh, what else did I do? I'd done like, I watched like all kinds of YouTube videos on sales and how to produce results. So I didn't even have a client yet and I was focusing on like how to get results for clients, you know, like, the order was wrong, I focused on building a website and all stuff like that and it wasn't until I read the book, uh, The 4 Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss that I really started like getting me a bit more of an idea of like smart work and hard work and how to structure my day to focus on the income producing activities also known as IPAs and I'm actually doing Brad Riley's Social Media Marketing Academy course now and he also like, is really big on like focusing on the IPAs, focusing on the important tasks and then just leaving like the little, like not really focusing on the details and just doing stuff like building the website and perfecting the thumbnails on YouTube video and all like all stuff like that, like at a later date. So focus on the important stuff first and then when you've got time left, then you can focus on like building a website and stuff like that. And in terms of hard work, I'm not saying that hard work is bad or you shouldn't work hard, you should work smart and stuff like that because like I am a big fan of hard work still. Like, I do think there's a time and place for hard work. I think, uh, especially when you're trying to get results for clients and stuff like that you need to work hard you, know, you really need to put in the effort to provide as much value as possible for your clients but make sure that when you do hard work it has got like an income producing result at the end of it like there's so many people that i get dm from like say they, they say to me like should i put like a facebook ad to get more followers on instagram or something like that i think okay are you selling a product or you know why what's the reason behind getting more followers and the only reason why they do it is because it looks good you know what i mean like uh, social proof is important but if there's no like coaching or there's no affiliate marketing behind it or there's no you know there's nothing behind it then don't do it because it's not an income producing activity right so i actually need to walk on the mud and on the grass now to stay out of the sun because if i stand there it's too bright i'm overexposed but uh, so what I do now is how I structure my day is of a morning I still write my to-do list and like I put like a little M at the, the tasks that are like the most important to me at like uh, on that day or the stuff that I really want to get done and then I also look at IPA so I, I put like a little mark on every task that is an income producing activity and I make sure that they are in line with my most important tasks so I make sure that the my income producing activities are the tasks that I get done. Once I got them done, then I'll look at okay, is my website you know up to scratch? Have I updated all stuff? You know, like the the they're all like secondary tasks, they're not the most important, and they're not income producing activities, so therefore I will do them second and focus on the income producing activities first. <sighs> I've said income producing activities about 20 times this video so what are income producing activities well for me for my social media marketing agency it's client acquisition so it's getting clients it's you know cold call and it's cold email and it's uh, like prospecting clients it's getting the meetings in it's doing anything in my power to either get a client on board or to produce results for the clients once you've actually got them and that's also the reason why i only uploaded once last week because 
as of now, my personal brand is not necessarily an income producing activity or not directly anyway. Like when I do client acquisition, I send them my YouTube channel. And it's funny because a lot of people like look at my personal brand, look at the, the YouTube channel, Joshua Daniel, and they look at Joshua Daniel Fitness, my Instagram account, and they do see like the amount of quality I can provide in terms of content creation. And like it is like sort of like social proof. Like when they see my social, uh, my personal brand, they think, okay, like this guy, it can deliver high quality you know we would like to work with him and it's actually happened like numerous times like most of my clients have come like through my personal brand or have decided to work together because they've seen my personal brand so that is why i do actually keep up the youtube i keep uh, posts on instagram i keep you know trying to build a community and a tribe with instagram and also because i really want to show you guys that it is possible but as for this week like getting results for clients and having the meetings was just like i just needed to prioritize it just for this week so anyway enough excuses i want to finish my walk uh, get home and what i'll do is i'll just uh, document like today just show you guys what i'm getting up to and like maybe give you guys some little tips and tricks on like productivity and like smart work and stuff like that so make sure you watch the rest of the video oh, all right so quick my protein unboxing hang on this is gonna work here we go Right, so we've got vitamin D3 because the sun doesn't shine in the Netherlands. Alpha Men has basically just got every single micronutrient known to man. All the vitamins and minerals you need. And also a flavor drop, like flavor enhancer for like any food or drinks. I've got chocolate flavor because, well, come on, chocolate. Don't need to explain why. Chocolate. And of course, I still work together with my protein. So I can get you guys 20% off if you use the link in the description box down below. If, if you find finding an outsourcer like finding a good outsourcer is difficult i'm not gonna lie it's very difficult to find a good outsourcer but when you find them they are the best and most the best the biggest assets for your business all right hi guys so i got some work done and also done bradley riley's uh, social media academy course the course i was talking about before and uh, as of like now like i still do all my client work myself like i haven't outsourced anything yet looking into bringing someone on though uh, at the moment because like uh, the clients are slowly rolling in and I've noticed that it's cost me a lot of time to do it all myself So I think that in the long run it'll be more efficient to Maybe get another uh, brand paneer employee or get another someone on the brand paneer team But uh, that's just something to think about I haven't really put anything into action just yet, but um, As my day is set up I wake up in the morning um, Grab a cup of coffee mostly the first one's decaf uh, and then I have a little read, so that's just like a normal relaxing wake up activity. I read a book, then I focus on my IPA, so that is either client acquisition or uh, doing work for the clients today. So this today it was client acquisition. Then I went for a walk, another like sort of relaxing activity. Then I done client work again, so again IPA, you know income producing activity. Then I done Bradley Riley's course again. It's not an income income producing activity. And then it done more client work again. So see the way it's all like dividing work blocks, so small blocks of um, income producing activities, and then uh, combined with uh, like a sort of relaxing activity after it. That's just how I stay productive, and that is how I get a lot of work done. Anyway, I've got most of the stuff done that I need to get done today. So now I am off to the gym. Okay, right, so it's a few hours later. Just getting ready because I've got like another. A business meeting where clients already signed, clients that's already with Brampton here, but you just want to get together and like discuss a few things moving forward. They've got an app which is finished, so they want to like explain how the app works, stuff like that. It's funny because most client meetings are like lunch, you know, coffee, stuff like this. But these guys, like it's quite a high ticket client, they go all out and they like the higher rooms and like uh, the top floor of hotels and all stuff like that. So looking forward to this meeting. Is uh, via de website als klant de uh, de kans dat ik dat dat ik ze als klant moet krijgen veel malen groter. Kun je je voorstellen dat het is? Kun je je voorstellen dat jouw hele week gaat om het moment van nu, de vrijdagavond, en dan zondagavond met depressief is, omdat de week begint weer, daar begint het riedeltje weer. Kun je je voorstellen dat mensen op die manier leven? Weet je hoe uitzonderlijk het is dat jij, dat ik, dat wij onze passie gevonden hebben? I just got home from that meeting, or actually, I'm, I'm, like, I'm still in the car, but I'm going home after that meeting. And like the owners of this company, like they are so big on like neuralistic programming, public speaking, self development. Like just they're all about that mindset. And just by surrounding myself with them, like you just get to that next level. Like you just, I'm so motivated and inspired after just going to a meeting, like 
like it wasn't even about me like they were just meeting together and they asked me if I wanted to tag along and like their vibe it just has that effect on you so like just by surrounding myself with them and I just get to that next level like, it's past midnight and I'm so motivated to get to work and get stuff done it's unbelievable uh, but anyway point of this whole video was like documenting just the, like the journey just uh, showing you guys what I'm getting up to but uh, what I want you to take away from this video is two things number one focus on income producing activities rather than just doing endless amounts of work that isn't really that important so really consider what is important what isn't and number two surround yourself with the right people because with the right people you will get the right mindset and you will go so much further anyway guys i'm gonna wrap up this video here like share comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one gotta do what i gotta do